I made a uh, RTI scan uh, at the Queen's Gallery in Buckingham Palace uh, of this sketch by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, and I want to show you uh, what that was like and uh, how it compares to, uh, to a scan that's just on the internet. So this is a scan that you can find on the internet, it's on the, the Queen's website, uh, her blog. And uh, you can kind of uh, uh, zoom in on, uh, on, on this particular sketch. So this is actually a study uh, of the Last Supper made by Da Vinci. So there's some Last Supper stuff going on here, and there are some other sketches going on here. And uh, this is what we're interested in, this is what I'm going to be comparing my scan with. Right, so this is a pretty high quality scan, looks good. Some yellow paper, there's some, some ink on it, and uh, nothing more than meets the eye really. Now let's look at an RTI scan. Boom, it's exactly kind of the same, but I'll show you later how it's different. First of all, it's more high quality, but that's just uh, because of the images that I took. Secondly, what I can do is I can actually change the direction of the incoming light. And suddenly that starts revealing very interesting things, right? So now I'm kind of changing the light in circles around, but I can just kind of put it in an arbitrary position. Let's kind of zoom in on uh, some interesting artifacts and then uh, do the same trickery. So you can really see the grains of the paper and you can see uh, the, the, the ink lining out very well. You can kind of really see where he put his scallopers, where he put his lines, uh, where he put his ruler, uh, and what kind of decisions that he's made, right? So this point that you're seeing here isn't just an arbitrary point on the circle. No, that's like a point uh, that he has made because he made a circle elsewhere and then he made a line somewhere and then he put his point there. Similarly, that one was something that he apparently came from here, lined up to there and then put his ruler there, made another line which had another point, uh, etc, etc. Right, so with an RTI scan, there's a lot more than just meets the eye if you look at this at face value or just uh, on, on the internet. Um, this is a very interesting way to kind of look at uh, look at sketches of Leonardo da Vinci. Mind you, this is 500 years old, and all this stuff is still in the paper, right? All these kind of uh, little scratches that he made uh, and decisions that he made in in in, in how he made this. Uh, similarly, you can do other stuff. So this is a um, uh, this is an RTI scan, which makes a, a polynomial texture map, and you can kind of play around with the polynomials. Uh, you can um, en enhance things, right? So uh, let's see if we can uh, do some specular enhancement. Oh, that's that's maybe. Whoa, shit! That's very enhanced. Anyway, again, this enhances some of the higher order polynomials so that uh, all these uh, all these lines kind of stand out even more. Similarly, you can just look at the surface normal, where you can here clearly see uh, that the ink is kind of gone, uh, but yet the the lines kind of remain, right? So you can see uh, the x y surface normals here. Which is, uh, which is which is pretty interesting if you're just interested in uh, uh, in, in the surface uh, topography of things. Uh, so how I did this is uh, I, I described it somewhere on my website. This is with an RTI uh, scanner, an RTI dome, dome that I made. So this is the camera, 32 LEDs, and I know exactly where all these LEDs are. This is a rigid system, and I take these 32 pictures with 32 different positions of uh, where the light comes in. And what I just repeat and what I do for every single pixel and every single image is I compute how would this pixel look like given the position of the incoming light. And then for each pixel I've got these 32 data points with 32 different factors uh, and I just, uh, I, I just solve for that. I think this is like a third order polynomial or something. And then you can get a, a texture map like this and you can just figure out the normals from that. Uh, and you can just uh, kind of move, uh, uh, move your light around in any way uh, you want. So. Uh, uh, so actually this is only like three times as big, this kind of file, as a normal photo is, uh, interestingly enough. Alright, that's